Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be trying on absolutely everything that I bought from the Sephora VIB sale. We have new palettes to try, new eyebrow pencils to try. I bought a lot. If you haven't seen my haul video, I'll leave a link to it down below. But uh, in this video we are going to be trying everything. So it's sort of going to be like a first impressions on a lot of these products and I am super excited to see what's good and what's not so good from the things that I bought. So, if you guys are excited for the video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications bell if you want to get notified every time that I upload. I love you guys and let's go ahead and get started. The first and biggest thing that I bought was this right over here from Dry Bar. And I used it last night for the first time. I used it with the rollers even and it gave me a really nice blowout. I really love how it was super easy to control because I cannot do a brush on one hand and a blow dryer on the other hand. So this was so easy and I could like grab it here with this little knob and like twist and turn. It dried my hair really fast and it gave me a really good smoothing effect to my hair. So this so far I absolutely love. And right now with the Sephora cell you can get it at a discount of course. The rollers I'm not sure about. I think I definitely still need to get the hang of those and I shouldn't have clipped them in because it made my hair bent in some places. So I need to figure out how to use those better. I'm going to continue to try and use them. I did think that they added volume up here but then I had to smooth it out and kind of lost it because I had those clip marks throughout my hair. But I really loved my double shot and how easy it was to dry my hair with it. So that one I definitely recommend. Okay, I got my hair out of my face and I even wanted to try the serum with you guys. This is the Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum from Glow Recipe and I bought this one for redness. As you guys can see, I usually have a little bit of redness on my cheeks and I would like to target that. So here's around two pumps of it and I'm just going to apply it. I don't expect it to work right away. It is a serum, usually skin treatments are going to take a little while till you can actually see the result. But today is the first day I use it and it feels really thin. It's sinking right into my skin, really nice and hydrating. A little bit tacky, but not much. I'm super excited to see if I can see results with this one. This is not Sephora related, but my friends over at Pure Cosmetics sent me their new Mellow Eyes Hemp Infused Eye Patches and I figured I would try them in this video while I do my eyebrows. I love these type of products because they have the best cooling effect and since it's the morning time for me I figured they're going to help me with my under eyes and they're going to hydrate under there. Let's try one of the products that I am most intrigued by and that is the Huda Beauty Brow Pencil. We saw in the last video this is the thinnest eyebrow pencil I've ever seen. It is so tiny and my only doubt and question because obviously I think it's going to be great is whether or not I think it's going to work through my eyebrow gel. So the only thing I had before I started the video is just my eyebrows lifted. I use my Anastasia Brow Freeze for that. And sometimes when you have gel on your eyebrows, your pencils don't work as well as they usually do. So if this one works nicely through my eyebrow gel, then this is going to be a definite winner. So let me get started with it. I'm going to underline my eyebrow a little bit. And then from there, I'm going to start doing little hair like strokes. The color I got of this is the number seven black brown. So it should definitely be dark enough to match the color of my eyebrows. <gasps> the tip broke. No, maybe I had a little too much tip out so I went ahead and made it a little shorter now. Okay I'm gonna take these off and just kind of make sure that all of that nice juice stays underneath my eyes. <laughs> as far as the eyebrow pencil is concerned honestly first impressions first try it broke a little bit. I'm not nearly as impressed as I thought I was going to be but let's keep going. Don't get me wrong, my eyebrows definitely look more full and even, but it doesn't look like the hair-like strokes that I was expecting. I had very high expectations, by the way. And it broke again. Ugh. Ugh. Why? Why are you breaking? Look, that is not even that much of a tip that I had out. I did take it out a little bit more because I was not seeing anything. <laughs> 
I've never had an eyebrow pencil this thin, but usually my eyebrow pencils don't break on me. Like, I'm not super, you know, heavy-handed with them. That's not what I do. So, I'm a little disappointed in this one. My eyebrows still look nice and full, but if I had to pick between the new brow launches that have come out, I think I would definitely pick the brow sheet over this one because it just was not what I was expecting. I don't know. I'm like so torn because I really expected greatness. <laughs> After I cleaned up the bottom of my eyebrows, this is what we are looking like and let's just go ahead and move on. We have the Mary Jane palette from MAC Cosmetics, which I was so excited to try because it is a super pretty cool tone palette. It's honestly much bigger than I was expecting and it has the coolest texture right here on the surface. These are all like raised. Here's what the inside of the palette looks like. Here are the swatches of the Mary Jane palette and I am not too impressed. The matte shades are very buttery, they look very blendable, they look like they build really nicely, but the shimmer shades... This one right here looked like a green dual chrome in the pan and it barely swatches like champagne. This one here I can barely see at all. You can see it not because like the camera glares at it, but like in real life it's like not even there. And then this is the crumbliest eyeshadow I have ever seen right here. Like crumbles. Anyways, we're going to just hope that this performs much better on my eyes than it does when we swatch it. By the way, if you want to see how the colors in the Mary Jane palette compared to the Glam palette from Natasha Denona um, colors, just stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to add some swatch comparisons towards the end. And let's go ahead and start putting some eyeshadow on. I went ahead and just applied the Mario primer on my eyelids. With my reference number 16, I'm going to get the color Matty right here. And this is going to be my transition shade. It's not blending out as easily as I would want it to, but let's keep going. See, it kind of created an edge right there and it won't want to like diffuse from it. Let's try the other eye. I'm going to stamp it on first this time. And blend it, blend it, blend it. That was a lot of hard work to blend out a transition shade, but let's keep going. I'm going to go in with the color Rubia right over here. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye. Same number 16 brush, which is a super fluffy, super soft crease brush. Okay, this one blended out better. Same thing with this eye, I'm just doing little circles to like blend it out with barely any pressure. With my number one brush from Refer and the color Cinsemilla right here, I'm just going to darken up the outer V of the eye a little bit more. I'm gonna get this color right here called B.O. and this is going to be right in the center of my eyelid and I'm just tapping it on with my finger. I'm going to use the color Mary Jane with a brush and I want this to be the inner part of my eyelid. Look at what my brush, the bristles of my brush just did to that shadow. Did you see that? I'm really not impressed by this palette so far, which makes me so sad. These shimmer shades are so crumbly. This is what I have for the top of the eye. I'm honestly not very happy with it, but I gotta move on. I'm applying my Magic Cream next. And the next product from my haul I wanna try is the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid, which is an SPF of 50. So of course I'm going to put it on over my moisturizer and just kind of rub it in everywhere. Okay, this feels really nice. It sunk right into my skin. It didn't do a whole bunch of like that white film thing that I despise on sunscreens. It smells really good, but also like a very soft scent. It's not overpowering. And my face feels really good. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is this right over here. This is the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint. I'm just gonna get some out here and distribute. I think this little bowl applicator is kind of silly, but at the same time, I do like that I can kind of like distribute it everywhere before I go in and blend it. I'm blending it with my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. And this is not like a tinted moisturizer feeling type of product. It actually feels like a nice medium coverage foundation. And so far it's blending out nicely. I'm just kind of pushing it in with this brush and it seems to be going well. Okay, we can definitely say that the Milk Foundation has a very luminous finish to it. Let me show you guys up close what it looks like. I um, saw some comments that people weren't super impressed with it and I'm not like overly impressed, but like so far so good, I do like it. 
Here it is up close, as you can see, just like super radiant. It's not enhancing any texture anywhere, which I really appreciate. It has a tacky feel to it. I like my foundations to kind of set. And this one is not necessarily setting, so we'll see how it performs. And I might have to set it with some loose translucent powder or something because I am about to go to work. We can't be like a tacky mess. And I'm using my Push Up Concealer from Pure Cosmetics. Concealer's been applied and I'm going to use my under eye setting powder by Pat McGrath. Just set everything in place. Let's finish my eyes and I'm going to use my refer number 14 and I'm going to go into the color Addy right over here. And I'm just going to back and forth blend it all under my eye. Okay, I'm back and I have some things to tell you. I went ahead and put on um, mascara and a brown eyeliner. The links to everything on my face will be down below so you can check it out what everything is. And the milk foundation kind of like set a little bit and now I have things to show you. So around my mouth, I hope you guys can see there's texture. There's like little teeny tiny little like crumbles of makeup that are not appreciated. So next, let's move on to a product that I have been super excited to try, and that is the Patrick Ta Bronzer Contour Duo. So I'm going to do the cream first, bronzer second, and what do I want to apply it with? I'm going to do this for the cream. This is the BK Beauty 106 brush, and I'm starting around the forehead, cheekbones. So now I'm going to use my refer number 24 and the powder bronzer, and I'm just going to kind of set that cream and warm it up a little bit. This looks a little bit warmer than the cream contour. And it's looking good, by the way. I really like the shade. It blended really nicely. The bronzer is on and it's honestly really nice. I definitely have to try it with my usual products that I go for on a daily basis because I'm trying it on top of a foundation that I'm already not loving. Um, but it looks nice. It looks blended, diffused. Okay, I'm back. My camera ran out of memory, but you didn't miss anything. I simply just cleaned up right underneath the contour with a little bit of setting powder and and the next thing I want to try, which is also new and I was also very excited about, is this right over here, which is the new Hourglass Cream Blush. It has the beautiful triangular package from Hourglass, like their um, highlighters do. And I got mine in the color Devoted, which was the color that I thought I would like the most. And I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to put it right here on my cheeks. And I'm blending it in with a sponge. I don't know if that was the best way to apply it, but here we go. You can definitely see it on. It built up really nicely. It blended very nicely as well. I'm happy with the color that I chose. This is definitely a blush color that I could see myself going for over and over again. I know that they came out with five or six shades. I just ordered one because I wanted to see how the formula would perform, and I'm not mad at the formula. I like that it has a natural to dewy finish as well. Like it's not a matte blush, but it's also not a super radiant blush. And I am here for it. I really like the way that this looks. For my lips, I have promised you in the last video that I was going to do the lip liner in the color Terracotta from Huda Beauty and the lipstick in the color Hustless. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I really hope it matches my eyeshadow. I did not think this through. <laughs> it does not because this is warm and my eyeshadow is cool toned. Okay, so here's the color Hasla. Okay, this is what the lipstick combination looks like. I really like it. I really love that like new Huda Beauty lipstick formula. It is so beautiful and shiny and it's like you put a gloss on top of your lipstick and you didn't. I'm very impressed at how much I love those lipsticks. Okay, I think that is all that I had to try except I want to put this bread oil on my hair right now because, well, my hair is freshly washed and I haven't put any oil on it, so why not? I cannot get over how good that smells. That smells so delicious. So that is it. I have tried everything that I bought from the Sephora sale and I have some thoughts about a couple of things. Um, I really love that bread hair oil. My hair feels delicious and it smells incredible. Um, I really also like the Paula's Choice SPF 50. So I know that last time I checked this was sold out, but check again. Um, if it restocks and you need an SPF, definitely get this one because it's not greasy. It's actually really nice. Um, the Hourglass Blush in the shade Devoted that I bought, I really liked. And I honestly really like the formula in general. So I think any of the shades that you get 
based on your preference, you are going to really love. The Patrick Ta Contour and Bronzer Duo was definitely a hit. I love how like natural it looks. It's like nice and like a neutral color, not too cool tone, not too warm tone just like spectacular the formula is good and i cannot wait to continue to play with this one and like try it on top of other products that i know i like better than the foundation i'm wearing today which talking about the foundation i'm wearing today definitely like do not even know um at the beginning i was like you know what it's okay very radiant finish the coverage i like it blends nicely but it started giving me texture after a while and sometimes i would put products over it and it just wouldn't perform as good as I wanted it to. The formula is kind of thick, kind of tacky, and then it didn't dry down to the best finish. So, I don't know, I didn't love it. Something else I didn't love, and I know you guys could tell, was this Mary Jane eyeshadow palette. I'm still going to compare some shades at the end of the video to the Glam palette by Natasha Denona. But honestly, if you're debating between the two, I can already tell you that I 100% recommend that you get the Glam palette from Natasha Denona because the formula in here is not good. The shadows are crumbly, the mattes don't blend as nicely as I would want them to. I don't know, I really wanted to like this palette, but I am not a fan of it at all. You guys can see, like, my eyeshadow looks kind of patchy in some places. I love the vibe, I love the cool tones and the drama that this palette has, but the shades and the crumbles and no. The new Huda Beauty lip liners are definitely a hit. I love the formula, so nice and smoothing. The colors are beautiful, they blend into your lips nicely if you want to wear them all over. But my favorite thing I got from Huda was definitely these bullet lipsticks with the nice shiny finish. They have full pigments and at the same time they are so nice and shiny. The formula feels really good and hydrating and the packaging is to die for. So definitely love these. And they're $25 which is nice in comparison to some other lipsticks that I buy that are like $34 and like the formula is just as good, I promise you. As far as the Glow Recipe Serum, of course, I have to let you know a little bit further down the road. It is a serum, it is a treatment for the skin. So if I see any difference in my redness, I will definitely report back to you, but I will continue to use that one on a daily basis. And then the other product that I kind of don't recommend Again, my eyebrows look good, but they don't look as good as I wish they would look. So this was, this was a no. I think this was a no for me. Even though when I swatched it on the back of my hand, I could create really nice thin hair-like strokes. I feel like they're not as dark as my hairs usually are, and so it kind of looks like any other pencil that I would put on my eyebrows. The fact that it's thinner is not making it a lot better than other thicker pencils that I have. And then of course the other drawback for this one is that it broke twice and I was not even pressing that hard on it, which I mean I guess because it is so thin, but I didn't get the benefits of it being thin, so I, I don't know. I don't like it that much. If you're gonna get one of the new bra pencils that came out, get the bra sheet from Charlotte Tilbury. That is all I have to say for now. I gotta go to work, and when I get back, we are going to do some swatch comparisons with the Glam Palette from Natasha Denona. Um, I am back after like nine hours, and I am here to show you how this is the worst foundation in history. Where did it go? <laughs> um, as you can see, my cheeks are no longer blush because everything came off because this foundation came off. I have so much texture around my mouth. My forehead looks great, but my forehead for the most part always looks really great. But like, what happened? Here it is up close what everything looks like. As you can see, I have no foundation here. My concealer's still hanging on, no foundation here. Like anywhere where the mask touched, my foundation fully came off. I was wearing a mask for eight hours, but still, I have worn pretty much all my foundations with a mask on still, and like nothing comes off like this. This is definitely not worth it. I plan on taking this one back and I'm going to actually exchange it because I want to try the Fenty um, tint. So I'm going to exchange this one for that one and that way I can try that one and see if that is actually good because I've heard good things about that one so hopefully I will like it. The palette didn't wear that well either. I feel like it kind of like looks faded as well. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my products that I liked with a different foundation underneath. I'm not going to show you the application process because you saw how I applied everything. But I'm just going to take this off and apply everything again on top of a better foundation and show you what that looks like. I know I already told you guys that I love the Natasha Denona Glam Palette much more than I love this Mary Jane one, but in case you still want to see a comparison, I have it right here for you. So this color right here is from the Mary Jane Palette and it's the color called Rubia. And then these two next colors that follow it are the color Crease and the color Blend from the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This one's a little more cool tone, this one's a little bit more warm tone. The next color is the color Cinsamilla, which is followed by the color Lash Line. Um, this one is from the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. As you can see, it's a little bit more pigmented. Then these two colors right here are actually both from the Mary Jane Palette. They're the colors Bamba and the color Santa Maria. And there's nothing quite like it on the Glam Palette. I found this shade to be kind of similar. This is the color Outer Eyelid, but this one's got a bit of a twist to it. It's not quite... Um, that grayish cool tone shade and these two look very similar to be in a palette that has like You know like 10 shades by the way um, Anyways, this is from the glam palette Then we have the color B.O. from the Mary Jane palette Followed by the only color that I found would kind of be similar to it from the glam palette, which is the color outer eyelid and lastly the color Kali from the Mary Jane palette and the two colors that I thought would maybe kind of match it but like we don't really want to match that thankfully these two are much better um these are the color center eyelid and brow bone from the Natasha Denona palette Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I also fixed my makeup. I put on my Air Flash foundation from Dior, which I've re-fallen in love with lately. And then I followed it with the Patrick Ta Contour and Bronzer. I redid my under eye concealer and the Hourglass blush as well. So obviously, this is much better than what I looked like 10 minutes ago. And it definitely confirms that I love the Contour Duo from Patrick Ta and that I really like the blush from Hourglass, which I kind of knew because I liked them even on top of the foundation that I didn't like but now that I have it on top of a foundation that I love everything looks that much better I did not fix my forehead by the way my forehead is the old makeup and from here down is the new makeup <laughs> um, because the forehead looked okay anyways so everything that I said when I was kind of going through all the products earlier stays if anybody is using this by the way and it works for you let us know down in the comment section what your skin type is and that way the people that have your skin type will know that this might work for them if it works for anyone because I find it a little bit hard to believe but you know there's things for all different types of skin so I'm definitely going to exchange this for the tint from Fenty and you know what now that I think about it I think I might exchange this one for the Rare Beauty um, palette that came out recently. Um, everything else I'm keeping, I'm using. I'm not overjoyed with the brow pencil by Huda. It definitely works. It looks good. I didn't love that it breaks a little bit easily, but I just have to be more careful with it. And then the blush and the contour. I loved the hair oil. I loved all of the rest of the stuff. It looks really good. Lastly, I changed my lips and I have a little bit of a different combination of Huda products. So I went ahead and used the pink brown lip liner with the Hustla lipstick on top and this is what it looks like which I actually really like so I think that is all I have for this video I really hope that you guys liked it let me know your thoughts down in the comment section make sure to please give it a thumbs up if you liked it it helps the YouTube algorithm know that you guys are liking the content please subscribe to my channel if you're new here I love you guys so much and I hope to see you back in the next video bye